going on everybody today we are back with some miracle merchant and I've learned some things um, so I've actually won a game <laughs> so yeah let's just hop right into it um, I'm not gonna go with I'm not gonna try and do any of these uh, achievement things I just want to try to get a W on camera so um, what I've learned is that you have 13 customers. That's why you have down here 13 of each color card. And then the black stars are how many black cards you have left in your deck. So there's 13 customers, three that want red, three that want yellow, three that want green, three that want blue. And then, as we learned last time, the second color, um, like the top color is what they have to have in their potion or else you lose the game. The bottom color is what they like so you don't necessarily need to have that in there. So, um, yeah, and then the, the 13th, not necessarily the 13th in line, but the 13th customer wants a black one. So that's a good way to keep track of the cards and the colors you've used and everything. So you could really, if, if you could do this in your head, I probably won't be able to, but you want to keep your track of how many customers have come for each color so far, and that will help you be able to get through all your customers so let's go ahead and go for it uh, the first one I've read that you really just want to go for a rainbow potion uh, right off the bat because this is the only time you're guaranteed to be able to use all four colors and the rainbow usually gives you a good amount of money for the first potion so we got 13 coin there um, so this guy wants blue so we'll just go ahead and already throw a blue out there. Um, since we have the blue with the black bonus, we might as well start with that. Um, and then, yeah, let's just throw a yellow out there and another blue. And that should be pretty good. Got to keep an eye on here. I'm trying to trying to use the uh, colors sparingly. You don't want to run out of all your blues and then the last customer has blue. So that's kind of what I'm trying to keep track of. Oh, uh, yellow. So you, we have to play a black card and that's going to be the only black card we're going to be able to play. We need... Crap. It would have been nice if the red card had the black on the left because then we could have played the black and the red or the yellow and the red next to each other and still have been... Oh, wait, we can. I'm an idiot. So now we can get the yellow and get the bonus for the red being next to the black and the yellow and the red being next to the yellow. And then this one, see we're already kind of running out of yellow. So I'm just gonna throw a green out here and keep it positive. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I'm not really concerned about whether the potion is weak or heavy or strong, whatever that crap is. I just want to try and get through the whole thing. All right, green, perfect. And then, crab. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna play, the next guy wants a green one also, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play a black um, over here, because we're still gonna get a positive uh, amount of money. Hmm, what should I do here? Yeah, I have to do this so I can get the bonus. Alright, so we... Oh, wow. Wow, we got 12 by using a negative 3 black. That's pretty good. Strong red twin potion. Okay, so this guy wants green as well. And he likes blue. Um, so we're going to go ahead... God dang. Alright, so black we're going to have to do because the next person wants blue anyway, so we need to have that pile cleared. Um... We're going to not use the red pile at all this turn because we've got the least amount of those. So we're going to do a, a green twin potion since we get the bonus for the green being next to the green. And then we might as well just throw a bonus yellow over here. And we got five bucks, five coin, whatever you want to call it. On to the next one. We're obviously going to start with blue. And I think I might... Oh man, 
This is tough. This is getting tough now. I'm gonna do this so I can get rid of this black. And then I'm gonna get double bonus for the yellow and the blue over here. We're still doing... God dang, dude, these blacks are starting to pile up. This is getting tough. Uh, we're still good with blue. That's what the next guy wants. Um, so yeah, we've got eight blue, six green, yellow, uh, seven yellow, and seven red. So we're just still doing pretty well on that. Oh, nice. The next guy wants black. If I do double black... Uh, I don't know enough yet to know. Oh, God. What do I do, guys? Um... I think I'm gonna get rid of a black here. Um, yeah, let's just do that, and then... Should I do red or blue? It doesn't matter. I can get bonus points for doing this red here. Um, so yeah, six bucks there. It's tricky, man, you gotta think ahead. You can't just be thinking about the guy in front of you. So if I do double black... A, a black twin potion... I mean, I obviously have to do this one to get the cards pretty even. Crap. Did I just really screw myself? What do I do? I mean, I think I have to do this to get that extra bonus point. I think I lost. Can I undo? <laughs> I feel like I should get du is there a dub is there a twin black potion crap I don't know all right we're just gonna do this and hope for the best please oh yes two dollars for the twin potion Woo! we got lucky all right we're still cooking and we're only like a little over halfway through all right we got yellow for the next two people so another thing I've learned they like black but if I played a black card right now it would be um, double negative, so the black card that's showing right now is minus one. But if I played it for someone who likes black, but doesn't need black, it would be minus two. So it doubled. If that was minus three card, then it would be minus six. And you're pretty much screwed from there. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do... Oh, gosh. I've already done the customer who likes black, so I should really just get rid of the black cards as long as I'm staying positive. We still have three black cards in our whole deck. Only three red cards are left. Yikes. Um, and the next guy needs a red card, so this is going to be tricky. But we know all of the red cards left are legitimately red. I, I think I'm going to do this because I get a huge bonus for playing all these like this. 17 bucks, that's really good. Massive Potion of the Rainbow. Whew, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. We're down to our last, what is that, 12 cards? So we got three customers left. Oh no, the next two people want red. All right, that's that, that should be okay. I'm gonna play green here. Um, I feel like I should just get rid of this black because I'm gonna get the bonus point from it being next to a black anyway. And then... What should I do? Play the... I, oh God, I have four yellows, though. I have four yellows. I, I should just play a yellow. So I don't get stuck with a bunch of yellows. Alright, so we got this black that's on top of the yellow deck right now, and then we have a black hiding in the blue deck. Okay, well... We gotta play this. We have better play that. And we got all the bonuses there. And then I'm going to go ahead and play this. And we're still good. We only have one customer after this, right? Okay, so should I just get rid of the black now? No, I'm going to... Oh, man. The next person needs a green, so I have to keep that last green. It really doesn't matter what I play here, right? I'm going to do this so that I can get it black twin potion four bucks we're still good we did it we're gonna do it we 
Yes! Okay, so we got the green. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I was thinking... I looked at those backwards. So I'm not going to get the bonus there, but that's okay, because we still did it! Four bucks. Or six... Ten bucks. All these bonuses. Looky there. Major yellow potion. We made it through all our customers. We completed a task without even looking at them. So that's awesome. How many points did we get total? 97? This is our best ever game! I mean, this is the only second game I've ever gotten all the way through it. But yeah, that's our best ever game. Our highest total for that one was 17 points. Get an ingredient card score with of 3 with a black ingredient card and 3 distillate recipes. I don't know what a distillate recipe is. I'm sure I got a score of 3 with a black ingredient. And then get a, an ingredient card score of 10. Well, we got one of 17, so it must mean exactly 10, and not just 10 or more. Okay, uh, accomplishment completed. We did it. What's this? Click on it, show me. Okay, so this can actually tell me what the hell things are. So twin potion, major yellow twin potion, normal blue twin potion, minor black twin potion. What are you showing me? Was something new? Did I unlock something? Massive potion of the rainbow must have been the new thing. Um, so yeah, I haven't even done any distillate because I have zero out of five. So I don't know how to do that. But yeah, we did it. I'm happy. We got through a whole game um, without failing. It took a lot of thinking, but I think that's just how you have to play the game. You really just have to think the whole thing through. I think it'd be really hard to be able to do that and keep track of um, these tasks or accomplishments or whatever and be able to do all of them. Um, I guess you can play multiple games a day so you can just get those as you go. But yeah. Alright, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, hope you learned something. And um, I'll come back with some more Miracle Merchant. And I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, stay awesome and Peace.